Welcome to the Science Expo, an interactive and fun exhibition space hosted by the University of Otago as part of this year's New Zealand International Science Festival. With over 20 stalls showcasing science research at the university, the expo features a range of interactive activities to get everyone excited about the science happening all around us. Now you might think this is sorcery, but it's not. It's science. Is this a magnet? This is actually not. So this is like a, this is an example of a superconductor. If we heat it up, it's essentially just a lump of ceramic. But so when we cool this material down, the structure, the properties of this material change completely. If we change the temperature of this material, we can turn it from a lump of ceramic into a superconductor. The defining property of a superconductor, the resistance in the material goes to zero. So we can induce currents and they stay there forever. And whenever we have currents, we've got magnetic fields. And so we can interact with this magnetic field and it causes it to levitate. Interesting. Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> now the one thing the Science Expo aims to achieve is to engage wider audiences and disseminate science. And this is exactly what the Center for Science Communication does. So in this stall, what they're doing is some stop motion camera. People will place pieces and play and pause the scene so that over some time, with the development and movement of the pieces, you can get a short film of stop motion action. Then on this side, they're also working on some animation. And animations are a great way to be able to convey and communicate what could sometimes be complex into something more simplified using images and sounds and movement. Zoology is the study of animals. So what are we going to learn today? Both Aiden and I are studying how invertebrates, little critters in the river, may have a story to tell. So to mimic what a natural research environment would be like, if this was a river, we'd be finding here where the living organisms are. And by looking at the number that there are in the diversity, we can see what type of ecology there is. Let's have a closer look at what we found. From the smallest microorganisms to the vast depths of space and everything in between. This was New Zealand's International Science Festival, Science Expo 2021.